Hello once again. I'm going to try today to do another video for you. Even though you haven't seen the ones I haven't posted, it's been a little bit difficult. Because I like to cook a lot of things at one time. That doesn't work when you're trying to do a video because it's just too much work. So I might just do it in steps. I'm going to give you Nona's recipe for incredible sauce. You start out by heating up a big pot with some olive oil. Don't put the olive oil in until the pot is very hot. I have some a veal chop. That was kind of gross. <laughs> some pork riblets and some hot Italian sausage. The more meat that you put in the sauce, the better it is. I have onions, a whole carrot, some parsley. I forgot to buy fresh parsley and I always have everything in the freezer because I don't throw anything out. And I found some parsley. Usually I have basil, but I didn't have any in the freezer and I forgot to buy it fresh. Also, I'm going to put in some chilies to give it some heat. So I think this is hot. I'm going to pour in a fair amount of olive oil. That gives it flavor too. And as I look around, I see a lot of things that I buy at an incredibly low price because I shop at Value Village. My tongs, my pot. This is an incredible tool. It opens up the sauce, the jars. Oh, that's tight. So what I do with that is I take a heavy knife and I just hit it the way I'm, it's going to open. So I turn it. And this little tool helps me to not break my nail. And it just pops a lid off. Um, the, this is sauce and tomatoes that I jarred myself. In September. So I'm going to use my tongs and put in the meat and just brown it. I'll wait for that brown to put in the rest. And maybe some salt and pepper. Okay, so that's browning nicely. I'm going to flip it. If anyone knows the secret to the meat not sticking, I would love to know that. I forgot to ask Nona that. I guess I'll ask her the next time I see her. She took her out for a nice Italian lunch yesterday for New Year's. She was so cute. And you each had a glass of red wine, it was a of red wine. Normally I don't like it, but it was very mild. And uh, she said she got drunk. <laughs> I was feeling a little tipsy myself. Okay, so this, this meat in here is starting to brown nicely. I'm just going to put it on top of each other. So I have more room for the rest of the meat. I cooked onion with it, so I'm going to, to put in some onion. There's just no room in there. I have a bigger pot, but I did, I got, actually, did I get them both there? Uh, yes, I did. I got both of my pots from, from Valley Village. That one was $29. Um, with an incredible, it's a, it's a glass lid, it's an Italian pot. It's probably, well, what I do when I go there is I find something and, and I, I Google it to see what the, the value of it is or what the retail price is. And I then I really know how much of a good deal I'm getting. And that's always fun, isn't it, to get a really good deal. I'm going to put in some chili peppers. Whoa, that's hot. Well, that might be spicy, but my family loves spice. Whoa. I'm just going to turn this 
this knee here, and the sausage, and the onion and the oil, and then I'm going to be ready to put, I always clean up too, so I'm going to put the olive oil away, it just gives less work. Um, when you're done. When I'm done with this, I'm going to put it away. I told you this YouTube channel is not just about cooking. I have some techniques that will help you in the kitchen. And here we go again, trying to open this. I stored this in my cold room downstairs. And it's so cold today, minus 11. And it's very cold, the jar. The jar some hot peppers, well I froze the hot peppers, I uh, did sweet peppers, and then dill pickles, so I'm looking forward to sharing some of those recipes and, and uh, experiences with you, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. The more homemade things that you put in a dip, the better and the more unique uh, the flavors will be, and people love that. I'm ready to pour in my tomato sauce. Whoa. I have a lot of meat, so I'm going to use four jars. It's so flavorful. And you don't want to waste any of this, and you can also add a little bit of water to the sauce. So. Pour it from jar to jar to make sure I get everything. I turn it down because it has to simmer. And I'll be able to go to the gym while it's simmering. There we go. We're almost done. I hate wasting anything. I just can't do it. I will save the tiniest of anything, any chopped vegetables, like this. I'm putting that in there. Uh, vegetables, any kind of sauce that I've made. If I took the time to make it, I'm not throwing it out. Put it in the freezer, I label it. And then when I'm making a soup or a stew or something or a sauce, I just add all those great things that I made before and it gives the soup or the sauce or, or the dish uh, an incredible flavor and you can, I can never duplicate it. So some, sometimes I'll have people over and they'll say, oh, what was in that? And I say, well, some leftovers from last week and you know, you never know. Oh, I'm going to put my parsley in, the carrot, this gives it nice, um, I don't know if it gives it some flavor, I'm sure it sweetens it up a little bit. But uh, I like, it gives it a color, you know, sort of like an orangey red color. Then I'm going to put all these onions in. Uh, what else? Clean up a little bit. And I think I'll put a can of tomato paste in. Ah, I meant to put in some red wine. You know what, I could still do it. It would have been nice to put it in with the meat. I always make sure I have a can of tomato paste on hand. Oh, don't put your fingers in here. How many times I've learned that you cut yourself. That is not fun. I'm not going to put all of it in. I have a little bit left, and I'm not throwing that out. I'll put it in a bit, little Ziploc baggie, because there's been times that I have, don't have tomato paste in the um, cupboard, look through the freezer and I always have something that I can add. Okay, put this away. I'm going to stir it. It looks very thick, so I'm going to add some water. There's still a little tomato sauce left in all of these jars. Just add some more flavor. We didn't put any salt in when we jarred them, so I'm going to add some salt. And I watched Nona do it, and her sauce is amazing. And there's kind of a lot of salt in there, but I don't put as 
much as she does. And I'm just going to give it a nice stir. It's pretty thick. I'm thinking I need some more tomato sauce. So I'm going to run down to the cold room and get some more. I brought up some. These are sweet peppers. And these are hot peppers mixed with eggplant. So I grilled those on the barbecue. I'm out of breath. Just from running down the stairs, time to go to the gym and do some more cardio. I put a lot of meat in there, so oh, that's why I need some more sauce. I'm not going to use these, I just wanted to bring them up to show you. Open, easily open, saving your nail tool, and add some more sauce. I'll just do one for now. Add some red wine. I like that flavor. Mm. Not too much. You know what? I'm going to add the other one. Therefore, I should add some more salt. Leave it over here, and let's see. That looks better. The beauty of this is you can save the extra sauce. I'm going to make some ravioli, and I'll save some sauce, put it in smaller containers, and you know, make homemade pizzas with it, and you can add it to all kinds of great sauces. Look at that sauce. Look at all this meat in here. That is so good to eat. The veal is so tender. Sausage. Soon I will be serving it on ravioli.